Are you a YouTuber or Twitch streamer? Have you ever wanted to stream to multiple platforms? Yes! And maybe even stream with some friends? Sir, yes, sir! And while you might find some services that do this thing, you'll quickly notice they charge up to $50 a month. Oof. Now if you know me, you should know that I don't like to spend more money than I need to. Does that make me cheap? Hey babe, I wanted to ask you a question. Am I cheap? Yes, definitely. Well, anyways, I decided to go to war with these companies and build my own product. So it was time to get to work. Now you know your boy goes hard with the code. We didn't just add in the Agora RTC engine. We added some Agora RTM, some RiverPod for state management, and even sprinkled in some UI packages in there. We had to use the Agora RTC engine in order to handle anything to do with the video call. We had to use Agora RTM in order to control the users and let the director handle everything. And then lastly, we had to use RiverPod to keep everything organized. Now, like any project, the most important part is figuring out the app name and the logo. So the first one I came up with was Creator Hub, but that doesn't have the right kick to it. It doesn't have that little spice that I want in there. So then we transitioned to Creator Studio. Now, while that's going the right direction, it's definitely still not there yet. And then we got Stream Studio. Now, while I like the alliteration, it still doesn't seem like a billion dollar Silicon Valley startup. Then we got the Streamer without the E at the end. Now this, this is looking good, but just maybe slightly too much Silicon Valley. Then lastly, we ended with the name Streamer with the E in there, you know, to look a little professional. Now this next part's not much easier. The logo was kind of a mess. The first iteration, I thought it was going great. Then I looked at it at the end and... What are those? So I slowly kept iterating and iterating and iterating, trying to fix that stupid R. And then the result looks like this. Now, I still don't know if I like it that much. I feel like just this regular font might look a little bit better, but this was made with love and passion and we're gonna keep it as a logo. So the next part we move on to is the design. Now, I'm not a great designer either, so this, this part was a little challenging as well. So this is what I came up with. The app's called Streamer. This is the main screen. You get to decide whether you want to be a director or a participant. We'll go over what that means a little bit later. So if we click participant, go into this, you can type in a channel name and you join the channel. It seems like a regular video call. But if you join as director, you'll see this app's a lot more than that. So you create the channel here, and this is the type of screen you get. So these are all the participants that are within the call, and you have full control over their audio, video, whether to bring them to the lobby or to the main stage. So when the participant first joins, they'll join down here, and you can bring them into the main screen, and the stream will adjust to include them in the stream as well. And you can add stream destinations. You can add a YouTube or a Twitch destination, and select which one you want to add, and add that in and stream to multiple destinations with multiple people in the call. And then when you start the live stream, you'll go into a very similar window that will tell you that you're live and you'll still have the same control that you had in the previous screen. I got to work on this for a couple weeks and came back with this. <laughs> oh, come on, give me a break. It's not that easy to build a nice UI on the first try. And after some more iterations and working hard to increase my design skills, I came up with this. So this is the final result. This is what the app looks like. You can create a username here. For this one, since we're gonna be the director, it doesn't really matter, but and then we can pick a channel name. So let's just pick Tadis as a channel name here. I'm gonna jump in as a director. So you'll get asked if to want to record video and pictures. So while using the app and audio as well. And we can join, we'll see an empty stage and an empty lobby. Now I have a second device, so let me put the info in there. And there we go, whenever the users join, they get a random color assigned to them. This one's pretty ugly, so let's rejoin so we can have a prettier color. There we go, this one's nice. So now, as the director, we can bring them into the stage. If we click this button over here, it brings a person in and you can see them in here. And we have full control, we could mute the person, we can turn off their video, and it shows video off, and then we can bring them back into the lobby if we want. And down here we have two options, we could start the live stream or we could end the call. But before we start, we probably want to add some destinations. So first destination will be YouTube. So when I go to YouTube Studio, we need the stream URL and the stream key. So copy the stream URL, paste that in there. Copy the stream key, paste that in there. Now don't try to stream with that. I'll be resetting it right after this video, but we could add that in. And here we see YouTube as a source. So let's bring this person back into the stage and start the live stream. You'll see the button changes to end the live stream instead. But while we're waiting for that, we could test other stuff out. You notice I can mute myself on the participant device and it will update the state here. I could turn off the video and I could turn the camera around, but you'll see my fan, fantastic. 
So there we go. You can see the stream is now working on YouTube as well. You can add more platforms so you can stream to multiple destinations. You can take the person off of there and you'll see this will update. I think it'll just stop because it has no more stream data. I'll just pause. Yeah, there we go. And you can bring them back in. And after some time, they'll show up here again. You can add more users while you're live. It'll be updated in the stream and, and it should all work pretty nice. Now this seems like such a complex and big project, but honestly, it wasn't that crazy with Agora. It's mostly just setting things up and really understanding the API and plugging things together. All it really comes down to is displaying the video and then sending the message between the users. So that's Streamer, the unicorn billion dollar company coming to Silicon Valley in 2022. Even though it's open source with no plan to make any money, it's definitely going to the moon. But the nice thing is it's open source. So if you guys want to come work on it, make it even better. I know Flutter Web is coming soon to Agora, so maybe we could implement the same thing with web. And if you're a creator looking for full control of your application, feel free to use this. By the way, make sure to subscribe to the Agora YouTube channel because I'll be making a full course about how I built this application and you'll be notified on there.